What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Yes, it is an RMR video. Yes, there has been no content whatsoever on my channel recently. I can only apologize for that. I seem to be saying that a lot in my videos recently, but activity will pick up again. For those of you who do support me, thank you so much. It does mean a lot. This month in RMR, Aptoid is giving away a huge, huge prize. Uh, prizes, I should say, and it is a fantastic giveaway. However, I can list to you the exact figures right now. I cannot show you the form, but next week that will all be unveiled. However, you can be sure that you really must start using Aptoid now. Uh, click in the link in the description below and you can learn how to install Aptoid, how to start saving yourself money. Don't just do it for the giveaway, do it to start saving money as well. Um, it's a very, very, very good discount. So there will be a giveaway um, that will be announced next week. And the prizes in it are really, really, really very, very good. And uh, it's definitely going to make the winners a very happy Christmas just in that sense. So that is one positive. And like I said, it is really, really good rewards. So enjoy it. Um, like I said, next week will be when that is detailed to you, the exact figures. Uh, we are going to be having a look at Endless Cloister, a new mode in the game. A new mode in the game. What a name. Endless Cloister. Well, I did chuckle to myself when I first heard the word cloister. But uh, let's have a little look at what it's about. I mean, I will say, I will say, I don't want to be pushing through every single difficulty. It goes up to 40 and there's 25 stages in each one. There's 25 stages in each one. Now, I probably wouldn't be able to push up to 40 anyway. I don't quite... Let's have a look at the rankings quickly. How far are people going? 29, Cyronics. 29, Kiana Castellana. Yeah. I mean, people are pushing it. It just takes so long. We need an auto fight feature for this where it can run in the background. Just keep going through because we're having to click every battle. I mean, let's just quickly go in. Um, you do get these divine powers that they give you one randomly from what you've looted during that difficulty and then that will stack up as you go on. There are rewards below. You get these rainbow diamonds, special currency in circulation on the continent that can be used to purchase extremely rare items in the rainbow diamond store. Um, you also get random blessing chests. Now, inside of these blessing chests, oh goodness me, there is another feature as well, the trading house. And these are the blessings, okay? These are the blessings. I mean, they have a speed blessing, but like, this is crazy money. This is crazy. Like, anyone bidding on this? It's expensive. But, I mean, our speed, speed plus 67, it's going to... Oh, my goodness. It's just another... It's like, I thought the Echoes was enough. But now, now we've got an even bigger power creep. We have an even bigger power creep now, thanks to this being introduced. Um, stun hit, for instance. Look, stun hit plus 30%. Freeze hit. Uh, plus 45 percent you know these are all massive things knight's blessings we have crit damage uh that's an a class one plus 17 percent can we see an s class no here's an s class 19 percent crit damage 19 percent. what's a mastery like s 15 percent mastery direct damage bonus 7.3 percent i mean these are huge okay but you know you can Sell the ones that you do get. You can sell the ones you get, which is quite cool. Um, and then you can trade them on the market, so to speak, and buy ones that you do need. But obviously, speed is probably going to be the biggest one, isn't it? Because anything one that goes first is the most viable. Let's have a quick look at some of these battles. You get these keys, the Ender's Key. Ender's Key times one is required to claim rewards after a boss challenge victory will not be replenished automatically and cannot exceed its limit. Um, I mean, earlier on, I mean, it goes up by 10 levels per difficulty. So it started off at uh, level 100 on the first difficulty. It was very, very easy. Uh, but these possible drops. So you can still get these possible drops. What is this one here? Random epic blessing. You cannot get mythic from this. So obviously, the higher difficulty you go, the better. Uh, each one will give you a random blessing. Like that one's an epic blessing. What's when the mythic come about? That's legend. Mythic start here. So Mythic start at difficulty 26. Okay, that's a long way away. But let's have a quick look at the battles itself. 
And um, I mean, it's one one wave. OK, it's one wave, 25 stages. At first, obviously, you can see my Lydia there just destroying it. They're only level 140. And obviously the gear scales and we have buffs that we can choose. We have buffs that we can choose. I mean, if you're using direct damage, you definitely will we'll go for the horsey because the horsey will give you a passive skill every 12 times of active skills cast by allies. The ally with the highest attack will deal 400% attack damage to all enemies. Um, it does, you know, we get we get more of these as well. We have redemption, which will be healing effect. Uh, what else does it do? Cleanses all debuffs. Enlightenment is for poison. But I thought it was one for um, pure mastery increase. Does this increase the mastery as well? No. So I think sometimes there is like different buffs that you can have. I'm not. Maybe just hang on. I'm thinking of the burn card that we get. That's what I'm thinking of. And I've just refreshed that and got an absolute trash. We'll choose the poison. But this is exactly what, you know, you just got to go through and through and through. I, I just wish they had an auto battle each stage until you lose. Because it's it's time consuming having to sit here and click and click and click. Um, if you can clear it, because not everyone will need these cards to begin with, okay? Um, just like... Uh, that would be a tricky way to do it, wouldn't it? That would be, I mean, uh, if you was autoing at a difficulty, maybe at the end, if you did auto it, right up until you start to struggle, if you lose, then you can select all of the buff cards. That would be another way to do it. Then you can select them and then be like, right, okay, well, now I can clear it. But I just feel like this is tedious. This is tedious to to me. There we go. There's a, obviously, if you get three of the same type, you unlock one of the passives from that. So that will be active during it. However, they do disappear after... Uh, finishing a difficulty where it will select one of those cards at random for you. Which kind of makes you think, well, you'd be better just stack in, say, the one you want for later on so you can get those passive buffs. For instance, just that, uh, selecting the horsey. Um, mm. Yeah, um, I'm not quite sure. And does the season reset? Is it, is it seasoned or is it literally just going to stay as it is once it's done? I can't imagine this being seasoned. That would be awful having to do this every month. There's just so much content in this game now, isn't there? There is so much content to be doing on a daily basis now. Um, so once you get this done, you know, obviously you get keys as you progress through. But there will be a point where you're not get you're not progressing anymore, so you can't get any more keys, and you'll use them when you're farming a, a boss, okay, or a certain stage. You'll 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 use the keys from that point on, um, and then you won't replenish anymore. But they've used the uh, what's it called? Freaking out! I can't even remember the name of it. Oh my goodness! Is it Endless Trials? Is it Ender's Trials? Because this is Ender's Cloister. Elemental City. Oh, wow, Elemental City. They've used their bosses from it, haven't they? Um, so it will be interesting to see how hard it gets. Obviously, you can see here that, that 10 key reward. Um, and, you know, from this, from completing the same difficulty again, you've already cleared, you no longer get the keys. So bear that in mind as well. I'm unsure, um, like, this goes up to 5,000 points. I don't feel like that's enough either. Maybe once you get to 5,000, it improves. I don't know. What does this do when you refresh? Challenge progress will be cleared after resetting. Continue anyway. But what does... I'm not clicking it. That's going to screw me up, isn't it? So, yeah, it is nice to have new content. It's... um. It's interesting content, to say the least. It is interesting content. And, uh, oh my god. It's just a huge power creep. It's just a huge power creep, isn't it? Like, <sighs> it's, it's, it's just massive. The craft feature on it, what is this? Ten inferior blessing of the same type can be crafted into one superior blessing. 
I just... Huge power creep. It's crit rate, crit damage, leech. I mean, there's it's a lot here. This is going to change people's progression massively. Um, it's another huge part to the game. You know, like I said earlier about the uh, the echoes being introduced, these was already a big enough kind of improvement. Uh, but I mean, like I said, it, we have got 40 stages. We have got a Wuthering Coast dungeon, which is tough as well. And, you know, people can achieve a higher score. PvP, though, is going to be affected massively by these blessings. PvP will be affected massively by these blessings. Um, so how do you feel about the update? Are you happy with it? Are you happy to see this introduced into the game? Uh, you can buy, like, I know on the trading house, you get the red diamonds um, to buy certain things. You can buy the red diamonds as well of course you could buy the red diamonds right of course you could buy the red diamonds however they are pretty astronomically priced 6500 red diamonds for 99 bucks um so i wouldn't buy any blessings right now they're going to be way overpriced to begin with okay way overpriced however it does look like someone's bid on this it was I can't imagine someone listing it for 10,020. Someone must have bid on the speed. But then it is a mythic speed. It's the top one. So, yeah, okay, granted. Granted. But is anyone going to bid against it? I don't know. I don't know. There's one here. See, but... Yeah, see, it's a big difference between a legend and a mythic, isn't it? Is there a filter? There is a filter. Quality descending. Quality... Okay, so we can find the mythics that way. Okay, so S Legend is better than Mythic A. Yeah, okay, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's cool. I mean, some people will be very happy with this. Some people won't be. I get that, but that's the same in every kind of patch that they do. Um, so don't forget about the app toy giveaway that will be next week. Start using it now. And I will give you more information on that giveaway next week. There is no longer a code. Not this month. Potentially next month. But I'll see all of you in the next video. Have a fantastic day, even wherever you are. Goodbye.